I want to start out by introducing you to Ruby on Rails. The first thing you need to understand is that Ruby on Rails is made up of two parts, Ruby and Rails. And it will be important to understand the difference and to keep them straight in your head. So what is Ruby? Ruby is an object-oriented programming language. It was created in 1995 by Yukihiro Matsumoto, who often goes by the nickname Mats. Ruby can be used for many purposes, not just for web applications. It's just a general programming language. In fact, on lynda.com, we offer Ruby Essential Training, which is training for the Ruby programming language. Now, if Ruby is the first half, then Rails, or Ruby on Rails, is the second half. So what is Rails? It's an open source web application framework that's written in the Ruby language. It was created in 2003 by David Heinemeyer Hansen, who the community often refers to as simply DHH for short. Rails was created as the foundation of 37 Signals Basecamp application. Rails was then released as open source software for anyone to use in 2004. Now, if you remember, Ruby was created in 1995. So Ruby had been in existence for 10 years before DHH came along and decided that Ruby would be a great programming language for writing a web application framework. So what is a web application framework? Here's my definition. A framework is a set of code libraries and data structures that provide generic functionality which can be used, overwritten, or further specialized. So Rails is made up of code libraries and data structures, and Rails is going to do things for us and help us to do things as we develop applications for the web. Then why not just call it a library, right? A simple code library? Well, the main difference is that a framework is going to do more for you than a simple code library would. It's going to provide more structure, dictate the flow control of the program, and have a lot of default behaviors built in. Libraries typically don't do anything until you ask them to. The Rails framework is actually going to do a lot on its own as a default behavior. Ruby on Rails is not the only web framework that's available. There are frameworks in other languages, Java, PHP, Perl, Python, ASP.NET, but Ruby on Rails has become one of the most popular web frameworks. In the next movie, we'll look at why that is and why you will want to choose Ruby on Rails.